What is up you guys? Thanks for checking in to my second video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a 20 questions with questions that you guys submitted to me on Instagram. I had to pick and choose some questions because I wouldn't have time to do all of them as I wanted to keep this video relatively short. And some of the questions were just really, really weird. Like I did, one of the questions I got was, are you actually gay? And nah, bro, I'm like straight as an arrow. Um, but so um, clearly that person missed the uh, first video, but I also want to apologize for this little angel light right here. I can't seem to get it away. Um, I know the lighting in my room is terrible and I know the sound in my video is probably terrible and so is the video quality. I promise I'm getting a better setup. So just bear with me on that. But let's just dive into today's question. So I have them written up over here. So if you keep seeing me look over here, that's what I'm doing. First question, how old are you? So I am 21 years old and on August 2nd, I turned 22. So I'm born in 1998. What school do you go to and what is your program? So my school, I go to, <laughs> so I currently go to Western University in London, Ontario, and I am in my fourth year or uh, I guess I'm still in my fourth year. I don't really know. I'm finishing my fourth year. I'm finished my fourth year, whatever, of uh, kinesiology. And I do not know my plans for next year yet. I will know in the next couple of weeks. So please, nobody ask me that. Uh, favorite experience from uni? This one is a little bit hard. So my favorite experience in uni would probably be any memory within the orientation program here at Western. I started out as a general orientation leader or as we call them SOS. And then I worked my way up to be on the orientation staff team as one of the coordinators on that team. So I got to plan all the concerts, give all the training sessions to all the SOFs, deal with all high level crises during orientation week and basically just made a bunch of friends that I still keep in contact with today. So I'm super, super thankful for that because I honestly think that it made my undergraduate experience what it is. And I, if you guys were in the orientation program with me, then I love you guys. And if you're coming to Western or you're new to Western, then definitely get involved in the orientation program because it is the best thing that you will do. The next one is how old were you whenever you came out? So I started coming out whenever I was 20 and it's kind of an ongoing process. So some people I started coming out to whenever I was 20, some whenever I was 21. Some people, whenever they saw my first video, they still didn't know that I was gay. So one of my friends messaged me and said, bro, like I had no idea. Good for you. How come you didn't tell anybody sooner? And that person, I love you, man, but you were just missing it before. Um, it's, it was kind of, you know, it's been out in the open for a while, so. If you could come out in a different way, how would you do it? So I was outed, but for the people that I did have a chance to tell, I kind of did it in a funny way. So like I said in my first video, I don't really like having those serious conversations with people. So what I would do is I would always talk about the guy that I was in a relationship with at the time, but I would talk about him as a her. So I would always say, she did this, she did this, what do I think about this, she, she, she. And then how I started coming out to people was like, okay, bro, like, do you finally want to see the girl that I'm dating, see the girl that I'm seeing, all stuff like that. And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would show them uh, his Instagram and then they would kind of look and be like, what? So that's kind of how I would continue coming out to people if I didn't get outed. But at the end of the day, being outed, once I came to terms with it myself, wasn't actually that bad because it took that weight off of my shoulders. Have you received any hate from friends since coming out or did people start treating you differently? So my friends are actually super supportive, which I was super surprised about considering I was coming from such a small town. Nobody really treated me differently. My friends are the type where, you know, we'll be at a pre or be at a party or something and they'll play like California Girls by Katy Perry and they'll look at me and be like, oh, Jacob, like this one's for you, man. And I'm just sitting there like, yeah, like go for it <laughs> and stuff. So I feel like they use me as a scapegoat a lot of times whenever in reality, they're the one that wanted to listen to California girls, but hey, I'm here for it. I did have one friend though that I don't really talk to anymore because he kind of told me, he's like, I am never gonna be able to look at you the same anymore and stuff like that. And he's a little bit homophobic. So we weren't that close to begin with. We were pretty close a couple years back, but we started drifting away before this all happened. So it was kind of just like, you know, the last straw that kind of really shift us away have you noticed any changes in close peers relatives acquaintances since your video 
I've gotten a lot of messages saying about how like they appreciated it. Some people didn't know that I was gay until they saw the first video. I don't know what they were, where they were this entire time. But all in all, I'm gonna say no negative changes, only positive changes about people thanking me for opening up, people thanking me for starting the conversation and stuff like that. What is your favorite thing to do? So one of my favorite things, my all time favorite things is to try new food. I love going different places to try new food. I Coming to uh, London, which is a bigger city from home, I met a lot of friends that are from different cultures and stuff, and one of my favorite things to do is to go with them and try their home food, which leads me into the next question. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is chicken wings. I love hot chicken wings. I love suicide chicken wings. I'm really, really good with spice, so I really like those things. And I also eat Nutella on a regular basis, which is a bad habit of mine. I love Nutella, I eat it by the spoonful. So yeah, that's not really working out for me this quarantine. Since I can't go to the gym, I'm really seeing the effects of the Nutella right now. Summer 2020 is not gonna be that great, but that's okay, we'll deal with that when the time comes. What is your favorite song and music taste? I don't really have one favorite song, pretty much like anything by Dermot Kennedy. I'm a huge guy that loves music that really hits me in the feels. Kind of weird too because I listen to sad music whenever I work out. I listen to sad music whenever I'm happy. I listen to sad music really all the time. I'm actually also really proud to say that I was a fan of Dermot Kennedy even before he got super famous. So Dermot, if you ever watch this, I love you. Uh, dogs or cats? I am a huge dog person. I actually don't like cats at all mainly because they do not like me because I don't know how to handle them. Like there must be some special way that I'm like missing or something because literally every single cat that I've ever encountered hates me. They always scratch me, they always bite me, and now I'm kind of scared of them. I don't really come close to them. Kind of just act like they're poisonous and I run away. What is your biggest fear? Snakes. I hate snakes. I don't even think it's a fear. I think it's actually like a phobia. Um, that I have because I can't watch videos with snakes. I can't see pictures with snakes. I'm not even joking you. I'm actually kind of getting the shivers right now just talking about them. Both the people snakes and the animal snakes. I hate you both. <laughs> so, question 13 is what is your dream travel destination? I'm really into World War II and the Holocaust and everything like that. I don't really know why. It's just something I really like learning about. So my dream vacation or my dream travel experience, because it wouldn't really be a vacation, is to go to all the concentration camps in Germany, Hungary, Poland, everything like that, and really learn more of the history behind that. Obviously, it's not a vacation. It's going to be very emotionally draining and exhausting, but I still want to do it anyway. I think it's really important to learn history like that. But if I had to choose an actual vacation, it would probably be to Cape Town, South Africa. I don't really know why, but I just really want to go there. Question 14. Do you like Lord of the Rings? I do not know because I've actually never watched Lord of the Rings. I'm not really into those movies. I've This might be a deal breaker and I might lose some of you guys right now, but I've never actually watched Harry Potter. I've never seen Lord of the Rings. I have watched Narnia. Um, I actually watched it the other night, just for jokes, so yeah. What is your favorite thing about yourself? I think my favorite thing about myself is my... Hmm. Hmm. Like, maybe my like sense of humor. I don't know, sometimes I think I'm like, I think I'm kind of good at making people laugh. Or I like, I laugh at everything. I'm happy, I don't... I don't really know. This is like one of those questions that's kind of weird and I thought I had an answer prepared, but yeah, I'm just going to skip that question. Question 16, what is very important to you? One of the most important things to me is family. I'm a very family oriented person. I was raised to prioritize family. It's family before everything. I also have two extremely big families on both sides. My dad is a part of six and my mom is a part of seven. I am extremely close with all my cousins. We get together every holiday and there's like, on my mom's side, there's like over 60 of us that all go to my grandma and papa's house. So we are super, super close. Question 17, have you ever dated a girl? Yes, I have dated a girl. 
not to the point where you know she would meet my parents or things like that but i have been in exclusive relationships with them before the longest one was about seven months i'd want to say we were exclusive question 18 how are you dealing with quarantine pretty well i obviously don't like it that much it's really isolating and kind of really depressing i really need a haircut and i really need to get to the gym i've been trying at home workouts but they only go so far i feel i need a lot of the machines and like free weights and stuff like that now one of my next video ideas is a daily routine throughout quarantine so if you guys do want to see that then comment below let me know your thoughts also let me know other video ideas that you would like to see question 19 do you hope to make a lot more videos I don't know yet. Uh, I think I really like making videos. If people keep wanting to see videos, then I'm going to keep making them. That's kind of up to you guys. Comment your video ideas, subscribe to my channel to keep up with the latest videos, and we will go from there. Question 20, what is something you are very embarrassed about? This one, uh, so I'm like a very like, I think I'm very smart, but sometimes whenever it comes to like anything common sense wise, I'm it kind of goes over my head. So the other day I was talking with my friends and you know how the months they have like some months are 30, 31, 28 varying days. So yeah, so I knew that obviously, but then you get to like feet and how many inches are in a foot. And I thought the, that how many inches were in a foot were the exact same as the months. Like sometimes it's like 12 inches in a foot. Sometimes it's 11 inches in a foot. Sometimes it's 10. Like for example, I thought I knew four, four feet went up to 412 and then five foot but then five feet I only thought there was 10 inches in five feet I don't know why I thought it went 510 and then right to six and then I thought it went to six seven and then there was no such thing as six eight it was seven foot turns out I was very wrong that conversation was probably the most embarrassing I've had in a long time and they happen all the time but the most recent one and one way in case you guys are ever in the same situation as me is you have a six inch sub you have another six inch sub so two six inch subs, two halves make a hole. They make a foot long. Six plus six is 12, 12 inches in a foot. Um, that was like a huge blonde moment I had that day. And apparently the, my entire life leading up to that point, because that's how long I thought it for 21 years. But you know, uh, you learn something new every day. So we'll just keep moving forward with that. So there you have it guys. There's 20 questions in I don't know how long because I haven't finished editing the video yet. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up with the latest videos and stuff. Let me know what you want to see in the next videos. And yeah, we'll go from there. Make sure you guys are staying safe this quarantine. Make sure to actually so practice social distancing. Because remember, the better we all practice it, the quicker we get to get outside. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.